Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss, Taylor Swift spends this much on music videos? Let's get right into it. Look What You Made Me Do is considered one of Taylor Swift's best music videos of all time. Big Machine Records released it as the lead single from her sixth studio album, Reputation, on August 24, 2017. Swift collaborated with Jack Antonoff on the song's writing and production. Following her public absence for a year, the song has been hailed as one of pop's most memorable comebacks, bolstered by its accompanying music video. The song is a dance pop, electro pop and progressive pop song with lyrics concerning many occurrences that have tainted Swift's reputation. Since the hook, Look What You Made Me Do, interpolates the tune of their 1991 song I'm Too Sexy, members of Right Said Fred gained songwriting credits. The song polarised music critics upon its debut, with some praising Swift's new direction and hailing it as a forceful comeback. While others were disappointed by her shift in style, Swift's fifth number one single on the US Billboard Hot 100 and one of the most dominant number one successes in the chart's history, Look What You Made Me Do broke a slew of records. It received the most Spotify plays in a single day and topped the Hot 100 for three weeks in a row. With 353 song downloads and 84.4 million streams, it also debuted at the top of the Billboard digital song sales and streaming songs charts. Australia, Canada, Ireland, Japan, Malaysia, New Zealand, the Philippines, Scotland, and the United Kingdom were among the nations where the song premiered and reached number one. You probably didn't realise it was one of the most expensive videos ever made. Let's have a look at it in more detail. What's a thinly veiled swipe at your tabloid nemesis worth? $12 million seems about right for Taylor Swift. Swift's diamond-filled bathtub, which appears to be a dig at Kim Kardashian's Paris theft in her Look What You Made Me Do music video, wasn't just for show. Page 6 adds that the hundreds of carrots and gems are genuine and cost more than $12 million, thanks to lent items from renowned jeweler Neil Lane. Many of the designs appear to be vintage and period pieces from Lane's vault, the publication says, noting that an insane amount of security was involved during the shoot. According to Swift, part of the video's premise is based on the idea that if everything you write about me was true, this is how ridiculous it would look. It's a sarcastic parody of media rumours about her genuine goals, which are often unfounded. The video begins with a zombie Swift creeping out of a grave wearing the dress from her Out of the Woods music video and excavating another tomb for her Met Gala 2014 self, where the gravestone says, Here lies Taylor Swift's reputation. Swift's public feuds and media headlines are referenced in the video, which was directed by music video veteran Joseph Kahn. Fans speculated that the bathtub scene in which Swift sings, I don't like your perfect crime, how you laugh when you lie, was aimed at Kardashian, who was stolen of roughly 5 million US dollars in jewellery in a Paris hotel in October. Swift and Kardashian have been feuding since last July, over whether Swift approved Kardashian's lover Kanye West's controversial song's famous line, I made that bitch famous. The backlash, which included Kardashian leaking a Snapchat clip between Swift and West in which Swift appeared to endorse the lyric, led to Swift being accused of being a snake, a symbol that appears in the music video on multiple occasions, including Swift's ring in the bathtub image. Swift is also flanked by a solitary $1 bill in the bathtub photograph, the amount she was granted for winning her court case against a radio DJ who molested her during a photo shoot. The film ends with an image of surviving Swift clones bowing in the hangar, as Swift stands on the plane's wing and watches. The clones bicker with one another, describing each other as so fake and playing the victim. The 2009 VMA Swift clone then says, I would very much like to be excluded from this narrative, resulting in the other Swifts yelling at her to shut up in unison. The music video's preparation began in January 2017, and the filming took place in May. Ty Stiorio, who previously worked with Swift on the video for her 2014 single Shake It Off, choreographed the dance. Bill Corso was in charge of Swift's zombie makeup. The video's post-production continued until the morning of its premiere. On August 25th, a 20-second teaser for the music video was broadcast on Good Morning America. With 43.2 million views on its first day on YouTube, the video set a new record for most-watched video in under 24 hours. It outperformed Adele's Hello with 27.7 million Vivo views in the same time frame, as well as Psy's Gentleman video with 36 million YouTube views. In the first 24 hours, it was viewed 30,000 times every minute on average, with over 3 million views each hour. The video received positive reviews and was named one of the best music videos of 2017 by Billboard and Rolling Stone. The Recording Industry Association of America has certified Look What You Made Me Do four times platinum for selling more than 4 million copies in the United States as of July 2018. In addition, the song has been certified platinum or multi-platinum in Australia, Belgium, Canada, Denmark, Italy, New Zealand, Poland and Sweden, as well as a diamond in Brazil. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out 
on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.